that you want to talk about a subject that comes to mind that is Effie and Kane are over. When it comes down to it, I think the last episode pretty much solidifies that Effie and Kane is over. Now, it doesn't mean they're not going to still mess around and not see each other, but you could tell everything pretty much ended in that episode. The very beginning of that episode pretty much begins with those two together in bed, that small ass bed. Um, but at the same time, they're kind of happy, they're kind of hopeful, but Effie is still, you know, defending Tariq and, and Kane is still somewhat showing his suspicions about the fact that he thinks Effie helped him. Now, when it comes down to it, Noma has been flirting with a romance with Kane ever since episode two of season four. Hell, it might even go back to episode one of season four when she was telling him the only thing you really need is a doctor. And I think kind of touched up on him to check his wound. However, right now, everyone wants to fight for the number two spot, right? Effie wanted it, but now she feels as though she ain't going to get it because of, you know, her telling her um, Noma about Tariq and their daughter like not to get her daughter but them plotting to get her daughter um that's got her kind of hurt in that position and though effie did show up to try to present herself as the a, a good number two noma really just overlooked her to be honest with her but uh, she did give noma did give her a chance to make peace with the russians which effie did do but at the end of the day it was monet that kind of messed that up or almost messed that up so everybody's fighting to be the number two especially now that ob is out of the way right now everyone believes that king could be the shoe in but remember something about noma noma does things the way she wants to do it and because of kane and, and noma's connection right now kane did that to become the number two but at the same time um this is going to destroy him and effie and so um effie is aware of everything she saw the flirting she saw the flirtation and even when they got into an argument with one another it was about the fact that she saw um them flirting and she's probably aware of of that stuff with kane and noma so Pretty much at the very end of the episode, when Kane was trying to flirt and trying to keep things cool, she pretty much was like, nah, I'm not feeling that. Plus, she was defending Tariq because Kane was suspicious about how they get into it with uh, them cats. And so basically, Effie sits there, defends Tariq, does not, you know, really doesn't say anything about it, saying that, yo, there was competition and that's it. Even though she probably picked up on the fact that Tariq was playing a game to get somewhere. So with that being said, I think that the book is closed with Kane and Effie. And I think now this opened up the door for Kane and Noma. And Effie is aware of that. And Effie does not, she's not going to like it. But at the same time, it's no different than what she did when she was going to Kane to get at Tariq. Um, you know, so... At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, Kane and Noma, of course, Kane's doing that to get that number two spot. But at the same time, I mean, that's him cutting off Effie and everybody was competing for it. So when it comes down to it, yes, I believe that Effie and Kane is completely done. I believe they're at a place right now where if Noma tells Kane to take out Effie, I don't think Kane would take her out. I think he'd think about it, but he'd probably tell her you need to get gone because Noma wants you gone. And so with that being said, we'll see how everything plays out. I'm looking forward to it. But I think at this point in time, Kane and Effie is over. But I just want to say to all of you that it is your boy Bobby B's here. Just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down. And... Whoa.